Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Today's issue, we're talking about Microsoft Outlook. You know, the one you get in Microsoft Office. Well, I was talking to a coworker the other day and they were having a difficulty with Outlook. Anytime they'd open an attachment or attempt to, in this case, Outlook would freeze and their attachments wouldn't open. So he'd shut down Outlook, start it back up again, try to open the attachment, and Outlook would freeze. So he rebooted his machine, because isn't that how you fix everything with a computer? And he went into Outlook, he found the email message, he went to open the attachment, and Outlook would freeze. So I told him the best way to handle this is to turn off all of his add-ins in Outlook. Well, he kind of looked at me with a physical face and said, how do you do that? I'm going to tell you. When you're in Outlook 2010 or 2013, you go to the file menu, you choose options, which is about two thirds of the way down. Once the options window opens up, go down to the second to the last choice, which is called add-ins. Click on that. Another window will pop up and show you all the add-ins you have loaded in Outlook. At the bottom of that window, you'll see something that says Manage Com Add-ins. And to the right of that, you'll see a little button that says Go. Press the button. That'll open a window with all checkboxes to show you which add-ins are currently enabled. And any add-in name that doesn't have a check mark in it are add-ins that are not currently enabled. Now, I would recommend that you write down the names of all the add-ins that are currently enabled because we're going to turn them all off. This way, you'll have a list of what ones you can turn on later. So clear all the check marks through the entire list of add-ins that are available and choose OK. Exit out of Outlook and then restart Outlook. When you go to that email message, I told him your attachment will open. And of course, it did open right away. So he read the attachment, did what he needed to do with the email, and he said, now what do I do? I said, well, you want to go ahead and turn on those, uh, those uh, add-ins that you marked down on that paper one at a time. Turn one on, exit Outlook, go in, see if you can open that attachment. So we did that for all the attachments, or for all the add-ins, I mean, and strangely enough, he turned on all the add-ins he had on before, and it solved the problem. The add-ins not work, and the attachments not work. Pretty cool. So if you have a problem with Outlook and attachments, turn off all your add-ins and then turn them back on one by one to see if there's a particular one that's causing the problem. You may not see a problem anymore. And then you'll be able to open your attachments without Outlook freezing. Now, speaking of Outlook, that's gonna be my app pick for the day as well. You have email, but is your email linked to your cable provider? That's a good question. For years and years, I had Verizon as my cable provider with Verizon Fios, and I fell into the trap of using my Verizon.net address as my main email address. Well, I've now switched from Verizon to Comcast. That means my Verizon.net email address goes away unless I want to pay for it, and I don't. So I've gone to Outlook.com, which is a Microsoft uh, email and you can pretty much, since a lot of people don't use it yet, you can pretty much get any name you want. So I use the same name as I used in my Verizon.net email address. Instead of Verizon.net, it's now at Outlook.com. And no matter how many times I switch my cable provider, I won't lose my email. So Outlook.com, go ahead and set yourself up an email address. Download the app, the Outlook.com app for your iPhone or Android phone or Windows phone. And you can have an email address that won't go away when you switch your cable providers. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.